This is a one-sided limit. Here we have the limit as x approaches 3 from the right of x minus 5 over x minus 3. With 99% of limits, your job is to just take the value of x that you're told to approach and just plug it into the limit. And let's see what happens when we do this. When I plug in 3, I get 3 minus 5 is negative 2. 3 minus 3 is 0. This particular form is what I call non-zero over zero. And when you get this result, your answer is going to be infinity, negative infinity, or D and E, which stands for does not exist. We need to figure out which one it's going to be. And we're going to do that based on picking values slightly larger or smaller than 3, depending on what side we're coming from. In this case, we're, telling, we're, we're being told that th we're approaching 3 from the right. So we're talking something like 3.1. We're going to re-plug in, but this time we're going to plug in 3.1 and ascertain the sign of the result. That is to say, if I plug in 3.1 into this expression, what sign am I going to get? Am I going to positive or a negative? And that, way, that will determine whether or not I have plus or negative infinity. So let's go ahead and plug in 3.1. 3.1 minus 5 over 3.1 minus 3. 3.1 minus 5 is negative 1.9. 3.1 minus 3 is 0.1, which gives me negative 19. That is a negative number, so that tells me this original limit, remember how we said the result was either going to be infinity, negative infinity, or does not exist? Well, because I got a negative result here, I know this limit will result in negative infinity. Let's flip the script a bit. Let's change this to be limit as x approaches 3 from the left of x minus 5 over x minus 3. Once again, you'll plug in x equals 3, and you'll still get negative 2 over 0. But now we're approaching 3 from the left. 3 from the left, well that's a number like 2.9. We're going to say 2.9, we're going to plug into this. We'll get 2.9 minus 5 over 2.9 minus 3. This is negative 2.1 over negative 0.1, which is going to give me positive 21. Now because my result is positive this time, this limit's actually going to be positive infinity. Uh, let's wrap it all together now and do the two side of the limit. So limit as x approaches 3 without putting a superscript of plus or minus here means I need to figure out both the left hand limit and the right hand limit when x approaches 3. Well, we already found those values. We found the left hand limit, or rather the right hand limit when we approached 3 was negative infinity. We found the left hand limit when x approaches negative, or sorry, 3 from the left was positive infinity. So because these two infinities are not the same, the overall two sided limit would be does not exist. Let me go ahead and clarify a little bit more. If it had been the case that this was negative infinity and our left hand limit was negative infinity, then this limit would have been negative infinity. But because they're two different infinities, this two sided limit does not exist.